last stop on round will be on my Peggotty's place. Twas like taking bread to the top of the world. Twas a grand ride back though. I knew Baker at Avcatlon and doorsteps of our always ready. There's wheat germ in that loaf, he'd say. Get it inside your boy, and you'll be going up that hill as fast as you come down. Well, this still has many times more wheat germ than ordinary bread. It's as good for you today as it's always been. Now Darset is beautiful wherever you go, and the rain in the summertime makes the words old bush grow. I'll never forget that first day at Pitt. Me and my father worked a 72 hour shift and then we walked home 43 miles through snow in his bare feet. Huddled inside his clothes made out of old sacks. Eventually we trudged over hill until we could see street light twinkling in our village. My father smiled down at me through icicles hanging off his nose. Nearly home now lad, he said. We stumbled into house and stood there freezing cold and tired out, shivering and miserable in front of meagre fire. Any road, my mum says, cheer up lads, I've got you some nice brown bread and butter for your tea. Eee, my father went crackers. He reached out and gently pulled my mum towards him bit throat. You big, fat, idle, ugly wart, he said. You great, useless, spawny-eyed, parrot-faced wazzock. He had a way with words, my father. He'd been to college, you know. You've been out playing bingo all afternoon instead of getting some proper snap ready for me and this lad, he explained to me poor little purple-faced man. Then turning to me, he said, Arthur? He could never remember my name. Here's A for Crown. Nip down to chip oil and get us a nice piece of haddock for us tea. Man cannot live by bread alone. <laughs> you were a right day to me, father. He said, as our working folk should have some dignity and pride and self-respect, and as how they should come home to summer warm and cheerful. And then he threw me mam on fire. We didn't have no tellies or shoes or bedclothes. We made his own fun in them days. Do you know when I were a lad you could get a tram down into town? buy three new suits and an overcoat, four pair of good boots, go and see George for me at Palace Theatre, get blind drunk, have some steak and chips, a bunch of bananas and three stone of monkey nuts, and still have change out in a farthing. With lots of things in them days, they haven't got today. Rickets, diphtheria, Hitler, and Barry did look well going to school with no backside in his trousers and all his little heads painted purple because we had ringworm. They don't know the born today. 